All right, I'm here with uh, Riel Duran from Bison. How are we doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good, so uh, we're here at Expo Cam in Montreal. Uh, what is, how long have you, you been in the transportation industry? Uh, Don't say your age, Riel. Don't <laughs> say your age. <laughs> since 1980, full time. Me too. We, we are career guys, for sure. Okay, so uh, what, what's your role with Bison? What do you do? Now, you're out of... Um, not Winnipeg. Are you out of Winnipeg or? I'm out of Calgary, Alberta. Oh. I'm the terminal manager for Bison in Calgary. Okay. So they sent you down here because you're fluent in French. Tell us something French. Uh, bonjour, comment ça va, mes amis du Québec? <laughs> this is just a test. I'm the tester first thing in the morning. So, okay, so um, so you're the terminal manager and uh, of course you're looking for drivers. How many drivers are we looking for in Calgary? Uh, several, as many as we can <laughs> find. We'll, we can buy trucks. <laughs> it's the drivers that we're always looking for. All right, so even if you're not sure, come on down and apply with Bison and they'll get you a truck if they don't have one. Let's talk about your driver finishing program because that's super important in the industry. Uh, is that something that's available at all terminals, like it's part of the regular training? Yes, it is, and uh, we're looking at developing more of our drivers going forward as well. And one of the things I like about this show and the people coming to the booth from the uh, CFTR and CFTC programs uh, definitely would love to have some of those guys come uh, uh, within our organization and continue their training and uh, and making some uh, very good uh, qualified drivers out of them. Good. Now, uh, if if someone is applying here, we're here at Expo Cam. You're out of Calgary. Uh, I'll tell them where to apply in a minute, but they don't have to move to Calgary, right? Like the person can be based here. Uh, you have a Quebec terminal. Uh, we have uh, we have trucks stationed in uh, in Montreal in Norval. And, uh, and traders here as well, and we can operate with people out of this area okay. very well. They're mostly dispatched out of our Mississauga office, okay. and uh, they would uh, would apply through uh, through that office in order to onboard into our company. Okay, so they don't have to move to Calgary or anything like that if they don't want to. They don't have to, <laughs> but we're also looking for some of those adventurous that yeah. are interested in uh, in moving to other locations. And uh, I've got a few of them from this program actually working for me okay. in Alberta and uh, they are phenomenal drivers. Good, good. So, so tell us what the, the finishing program entails. What, what happens? I, I sign on with Bison, I go into orientation, and then is that where the finishing program starts? Correct, and uh, with drivers that come to us with a class one license, with uh, 100 hours or so of training, we will uh, spend 10 to 13 weeks with an in-cab instructor to develop their skill set so that uh, and it's based on evaluation. Some will be a little bit faster to develop than others. And some of them may take a little longer, but we're always willing to invest in, in the right candidate. Good, and so they, as long as they've gone through, and in Ontario, we call it the MELT program, which is 103 hours. You're saying 100, and I know they're coming out with that out west as well. So if someone has that basic training from a school, you can take them from there and move them into a professional driver? Correct. Yeah. And uh, do you start them off, like, do you send that new guy right into the mountains of BC and, like, where, what, 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 do you have kind of a set area where you work with them at first? Yeah, on week one they normally do some local, uh, local work for the first week or two to develop their skills and make sure that they can handle the unit very well. Um, and then after that, yes, we do, we put them in the, to the test in the mountains and make sure that they have that proper instruction. We don't want to develop a person 13 weeks and not expose him to mountains and then his first winter he heads in there uh, he's going to definitely put himself and others at risk so we make sure that our uh, our uh, program entails all the aspects of driving whether they be the easy ones or the or the tougher ones to make sure that the, the driver is properly developed well that's amazing i know I, I drove for 25 years and one of the things still need in the industry is this finishing part and I know a lot of carriers are talking about that so it's nice to see you have something formally developed for sure. Yeah well we're uh, quite proud of our program and we've developed a significant number of drivers already and we're aiming to do more of that. Well you I know you don't know this but there's actually a special website set up for the lead pedal with Bison so it's bisongoldrushlp.com if people want to go there it, it just clicks the link through to you guys so I would encourage people to get on with Bison you've always got a good name I know many people on your team and they're all uh, very successful at what they do. So thanks for talking with me today. Very good. Thank you very much. Thanks.